Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. In this age, having a laptop as a college student is extremely important, especially in, in a college here in the United States. So for today's video, I wanted to share with you some of the laptops that I really believe are the best for your buck. But before we begin, if you're not subscribed already, please make sure to subscribe. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click that thumbs up to help me continue making videos like these. Laptops are extremely expensive and this purchase is most likely going to be one of the most expensive purchases you're going to have to make as a college student, second to your tuition. So when shopping for a laptop, I usually think of these things as the main important um, factors for me to decide to buy a laptop. And one that is affordability because you don't want to break the bank, um, weight because you're going to be dragging this thing around all over campus and trust me, you don't really want to buy a laptop that's extremely heavy battery life because you're probably going to be at school for hours at a time so you want to make sure that your battery lasts as long as possible and can it handle engineering softwares like MATLAB, SOLIDWORKS or any other CAD software. As you will see in the list that I picked, Apple laptops did not really make the cut and I do get a lot of questions from people about whether having an Apple laptop as an engineering student is cool or not. Honestly, I really love Apple products as you can see. I do own a Mac and my Apple Watch, but as a student that doesn't really have a lot of money, I can't really seem to justify spending $1,500 to $2,000 on a laptop, which just sounds ridiculous. So in my opinion, Apple laptops are not the best to buy as a student, but if your parents are able to afford that or you're able to afford that, then by all means, go ahead and buy it. But you do have to keep in mind that there will be times in your college career, especially as an engineer, an engineering student, where your professor might share with you a code that is only compatible with PCs or best compatible with PCs. That doesn't happen a lot. It probably only happened twice in, in my college career, but it does happen. So just keep that in mind when you're uh, buying an Apple laptop. Before I get into the list of, laptop, of laptops that I recommend, I just wanted to kind of, in case you didn't know, if you're a student in the States, you probably already know that if you do your own taxes, but every year as a student, you get a tax credit that's up to $2,500, which I did get every single year as a college student in undergrad and graduate school. And that's part of the American Opportunity Tax Credit that you're supposed to use for school expenses like tuition. So although it doesn't really help with tuition since tuition is definitely more expensive than that, but I'd say take advantage of this $2,500 and use it to buy a laptop. Now, don't go and spend all of it on a laptop because it would be nice to have it for other things that you need to buy for school. But this is one of the things that might help you out um, every year because you will get it every year to help you with expenses like your laptop. Realistically speaking, when you buy a laptop, you want it to last the whole four years or however long you're going to be in college. So this one time, it's just a one time purchase, so you won't have to spend $2,500 every single year on a laptop. And I don't think this tax credit is available for international students, unfortunately, just because um, I don't think international students have to send their taxes every single year. So this is only available for um, students that are residents of the United States or US citizens. Okay, now, so um, getting into the list of laptops that I recommend. So this is the laptop that I've used throughout my whole career as a college student, so in undergrad and graduate school. So it definitely lasted me a long time and it's the uh, Lenovo Yoga. And this is where it looks like. I don't have a lot of stickers, so it's hard to see, but it's really lasted a while and I think it cost me about $760. Um, it's very slim. Actually, it's like a touch screen and you can go all the way around if you want to use it as an iPad or like as a just, yeah, you know what I mean. So this one was about $780. I did use it throughout uh, all of my college career. Um, it has 80 gig of, 8 gigabytes of RAM, 265 gigabytes SSD, solid state drive, and how much does it weigh? I think it weighs about three and a half pounds, so it's not really that heavy, but it's not the lightest. It worked perfectly with MATLAB and SOLIDWORKS and every other software that I needed to use in undergrad. So I think it's perfect for everything that you have to do, like doing research on the internet or just surfing the internet writing your reports, writing your code on MATLAB. It is definitely perfect for that. However, I used to edit on this laptop too, like edit my, my YouTube videos, and it wasn't really the best for editing. Like it froze a lot 
and it was extremely slow and that's probably because small laptops like these um, don't really have the best graphics cards so if you're looking for a laptop that is more heavy duty these laptops are not really going to help you that much like you can't really be gaming on them all the time or editing like me but for the purpose of college this laptop really was um, perfect for me it worked as intended and it was pretty affordable like about $760 and my rule is usually for college buying a laptop anything that's under $850 is usually the best uh, price range so a similar laptop to mine which I bought like six years ago which is old is this one which is the Lenovo Yoga so the same style it's also 8 gigabyte of RAM uh, 265 gigabytes SSD it's Intel 7 gen um, core i5 it has a 13 hour battery life which is actually pretty good and it's $700 which is much cheaper than when I bought mine at the time and also it's only 3.09 pounds which is I think less heavy than mine as well this one is definitely a good option if you're trying to look for something that's affordable $700 is not a lot for a laptop and I think anything under these specs, like anything under 8 gigabytes of RAM is not going to cut it for engineering software. Second laptop is Dell Inspiron 13.3 inches, which is the perfect size. If you buy anything bigger, I don't really think it's going to be as light when it comes to weight. It's also 8 gigabytes of RAM, 265 gigabytes SSD, and it's about... Uh, uh, $765 which is a little bit more expensive than Lenovo but it's not really a lot more um, I think it has 512 gigabytes SSD memory actually um, this one is not really that different from the Lenovo but if you want something I think well I guess the storage 512 is definitely more but other than that it should be kind of the same quality when it comes to speed and stuff like that lastly the laptop that I think is definitely the best um, in this list is the Samsung uh, Galaxy Book Flex Alpha. That's a very long name and it's a 13.3 inch laptop which is the perfect size. Intel 10th generation Core i5, so one of the latest um, versions of Intel processor. Um, it's a 8 gigs I believe as well and it's 265 SSD but it goes for $850 and the reason why I believe this one is the best is because of the battery life. The battery life is about 18.5 hours which is extremely good. Um, I don't think I've came across any other laptops to have a higher battery life. I might be wrong but I think this is really good battery life and also it only weighs 2.26 pounds which is extremely light and that was very important for me because before this one when I just started college I did have the same Lenovo but it was an older version and it was probably almost four and a half pounds almost five pounds and at the time it did feel light to the touch but when I carried it around campus it really hurt my back like especially my neck right here on my on my laptop uh, sorry on my backpack so uh, you think that finding a laptop that doesn't weigh a lot because I've seen people carry it in their alienware freaking laptop that pays like that weighs so much and they just carry it all over campus and it's just it's literally impossible for you to walk from classes without getting extremely com uncomfortable or just over time hurting your back so 2.26 pounds is extremely light and um, the price is $850 which is definitely more on the expensive side but I think it would be worth the money uh, with the battery life and also the weight that it's at okay well that was all of the list that I have I didn't really want to bombard you with a lot of choices just because I feel like the other laptops are pretty similar unless you increase the, the memory the sorry the RAM um, to 12 gigs instead of 8 gigs which I think would be nice but I don't think it's necessary in this case especially in engineering I feel like 8 gigs of RAM is you know enough um, but just let me know down below what you guys think I will leave all of these links for these laptops if you're interested in seeing more of the specs or the details on this, these laptops I will leave them in the description below and share with everyone else if you think that there are any other laptops you think are pretty cheap or like affordable for students and also perfect for engineering and yeah that is it for today and I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it informative if you did don't forget to click that like button and yeah I'll see you next time bye mm.